Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can share a video or present a slideshow that has video material in it in Google Meet. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now sharing videos via Google Meet has been a bit of an issue sometimes and I keep seeing the same question in the comment section on this channel. How do I share my videos in a Google Meet? Now in order for us to do this, we're going to have to not screen share but we're going to have to use something called casting. Now casting means that you're sending a signal to an external device. In this case that external device will be Google Meet. Now there are three steps we're going to have to take in order for us to be able to do this. Now in the description you'll find timestamps to these steps so if anything goes wrong make sure to just jump back into that description and you'll find the steps. Now the first thing we'll have to do is make sure that we're using Chrome. Now when you're using Google Chrome, go ahead and open it up and then find your menu. Now in order for you to find that menu, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right corner. Now once you've clicked on those three dots, what you're going to see is that one of the options there is cast. Now go ahead and click on cast. Now casting a website or a tab means that you are sending it to an external device. If you've heard of Chromecasts before, it's a way of sending this to your television. If you've used a Amazon speaker or any other external speaker, you can cast things to those speakers. You can also cast to smart TVs. Now here we are going to be casting to a Google Meet. Now you can see I now have this icon at the top and I'm going to right click on that icon because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I always see this icon. So go ahead and click on always show the icon. This has now prepared our browser to start using Google Cast, but our applications are not yet talking to each other. So go ahead and go back to that icon and right click on the icon. Once you've right clicked, you're going to enable cloud services. Now cloud services, that's where applications are now able to talk to each other. So our Chrome browser is going to be able to talk to Google Meet. Our Meet is going to be able to talk to other applications. Now these two steps are the two most important steps. Step number three is all about the meeting itself. Now we cannot cast a website with a video or a slideshow with a video into a meeting unless that meeting was scheduled in our calendar. So let's go ahead and open up Google Calendar. Now we're going to click on those nine dots and we're going to find the calendar. Now in order for you to be able to cast, it has to be an active meeting. So you cannot cast into a meeting that takes place next day or next week. So let's go ahead and create a new event and attach a meeting to that. I'm going to click on this time here and we're going to create a new event. Now I do want this event to be an ongoing event. So I'm going to start it in the past and I'm going to have it go on for two hours. We're going to call this demo event with casting. And then in order for us to add a meeting, we're going to add a conferencing call. Go ahead and click on add conferencing. And we now have a Google Meet. So go ahead and save this event. And there we go. Now, casting a website is fairly easy. So let's go ahead and open up our Google Meeting. And we're going to go ahead and join this Meet. And you can see that the camera is now on. We are in the Google Meet and we're going to join this room. Now I am going to turn off my microphone and we're going to join the room. Now here I can just start running my meeting, no problem. But now I want to cast a video into that meeting. So let's open up a separate tab. It's important that it is in a separate tab and let's search for that video. Now let's say that we want to cast this website with this video into our Google Meet now. Well, once everything is activated, we're going to open this tab and find the icon in the top right corner. I'm going to click on that and you will see that one of the available devices is now that Google Meet. That's because it's an ongoing meeting and it was scheduled using the calendar. So go ahead and select that and you will see in the meeting this is now being presented. Now as soon as I start playing this video here, you are going to see that it also plays very smoothly in that Google meeting. That means we don't have to worry about lag, we don't have to worry about poor audio or any of the other issues you would see when you're simply sharing your screen. So in order for you to use audio and video in Google Meet, you're going to be screencasting rather than screen sharing. So remember three steps. First step is to make sure that you have the cast icon enabled. Second step, enable your cloud services. And then the third step is to schedule your meetings using Google Calendar. 
These three steps will enable you to use audio and video in Google Meet. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, dive into that comment section below and let me know how are you using video in your lessons, what is your preferred video platform or format, and how are your students responding to this. Now what else are you trying to do in Google Meet? Let me know in the comment section below and I will do my best to make a video on that topic as well. Now once you've left your comments, scroll back up, make sure to hit subscribe, bell notification so you can be notified of future videos. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.